Hello, thanks for joining me again. Um, here's what I'm going to do for the next few videos. It's probably going to be three or four. Um, somebody brought me a big bundle of free DVDs. They were like, do you want do you want these DVDs? I'm like, sure. I'm like, whatever I don't want, I'll give to the video store. So, so they brought a huge bag and like three boxes of DVDs. And I took the huge bag, which I'm going to try and show you. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's the, yeah, big garbage bag. So, yeah, so I took the bag and and pick the ones I wanted and then you know the ones I didn't want I was just like here gave it to the video store you know let them do it as they please um so what I'm gonna do is for the next however many videos it takes I'm just gonna take them out one at a time talk about them some I've seen some I haven't so you know just kinda see what we got here we can uh Cause I, I can't remember what all I kept. I mean, I was at the video store yesterday, just like, okay, I'll keep this one. No, the, yeah. So I don't know, but we'll see what I got and we'll see why I kept them. And here we go. <clears throat> this one I haven't seen. It's called Scoop. Um, I just kept it cause Hugh Jackman, Scarlett Johansson, Ian McShane. Um. Plus, it's got Woody Allen, and even though he's creepy, I've never seen a Woody Allen film. Mainly because he's creepy. But just something about this made me decide, you know what, I'll give it a watch one day. I like Joe Hansen. I like um, Hugh Jackman. Um, <clears throat> this is another one I have not seen. Hanoi Hilton. Um, I don't know, it just sounded interesting about... Uh, you know about some kind of prison camp in the Vietnam War or something so you know decided to give it a look and if I like it I'll keep it and if I don't I'll give it to you know the video store I just keep grabbing ones I haven't seen yet this one's called Restrepo and it's a documentary that chronicles the deployment of a platoon of US soldiers in Afghanistan's Karingal Valley and I just like you know I like most um, documentaries. This one's done by National Geographic, so it should be well done. Um, and it won the Grand Jury Prize documentary in 2010 at Sundance. So, you know, that that's pretty cool. So I'm going to give it a watch uh, one of these days. Let's see. Uh, this is just the um, first season of Eastbound and Down. I have seen some of it. And I just like, uh, I just like the show. It, it's pretty funny, so I'm gonna gonna watch the whole first season and then probably go on and find the rest of them, you know. Uh, this one I have seen. It's Kevin Costner Revenge. Um, but it's been so long since I've seen it that I just kind of want to watch it again. I'll probably end up watching it and probably give this one to the video store to sell. I just want to see it again, you know, because I don't really remember much about it. <clears throat> All right, this one, Hall Pass. It's just a great comedy. One of those raunchy comedies that just work. Um, Owen Wilson, of course, Jason Sudeikis, Jenna Fisher, Christina Applegate is great in this. Just a really cool movie. The, the two guys end up getting a hall pass from their wives where for like a week they can... They can sleep with somebody else and hilarity ensues just a really good comedy if you haven't seen it check it out this one i've seen many times league of extraordinary gentlemen um this movie gets a lot of flack a lot of people talk down about it but i really dug it i really really did like it um especially the jekyll and hyde character i thought he was really cool and i don't know it's just a fun movie for me and uh i don't know i just like it so Decided to keep that one. Um, oh, of course I've seen this one. The Hangover. Now, this, when this hit theaters, man, 
one of the best comedies since like Wedding Crashers. And this is where most people became um, introduced to Zach Galifianakis. But I was a fan of Galifianakis from his stand-up on uh, Comedy Central. And that's why I went and saw this movie in theaters because I knew and liked Zach Galifianakis' stand-up. And it did not disappoint. To me, this and both sequels are just hilarious. I love them. Um, here we go. Wolf of Wall Street. This is a Scorsese picture. Of course, you know, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. It was... If not the first movie, it was one of the first movies that Margot Robbie was in, or Robbie, however you want to pronounce it. Um, Jonah Hill's in it. Um, Matthew McConaughey has a small role in it. And um, I'm not a big fan of Scorsese. I think um, even Goodfellas is overrated a bit. But this was just a really, it's kind of a fun, a fun kind of Wall Street just kind of a true version and a fun version of that almost. The only the only complaint I'd give about this movie is it is super long. It could have been edited down, I think. It's 179 minutes. So, I mean, come on. So by the end of it, you're kind of like, ugh, you know? But it's still still a hell of a watch. It's really good. Uh, this is another one I have seen, um, My Best Friend's Girl. Um, this was back when people didn't hate Dane Cook for some reason, but everybody's turned against him. I still think the guy's funny. Um, not a big fan of Jason Biggs, but he works in this because he's like the nice guy and, and, uh, Dane Cook is dating Kate Hudson to be mean to her to get her to go back with Jason Biggs. Kate Hudson might be my favorite rom-com or just female actress of all time. I just think she's just really, really gorgeous and cool and funny at the same time. So I will almost watch anything she's in because I really dig her. Um, and this movie is just funny and raunchy and I mean it just it has some outlandish moments. So I dig it. All right. Now for a classic, Reservoir Dogs. I think this was the second film Tarantino directed because he did um, Pulp Fiction first. Um, a lot of people rank this really high in his oeuvre. I like it. Um, it has kind of dwindled for me over the years, but... I mean, it's still better than, you know, almost any director's sophomore effort. So, I mean, even though it'd probably be number five or six on my top, you know, ten Tarantino. Of course, he's only done nine films, so they'd all be in the top ten, I guess. But uh, it's still really, really good. I mean, it's just hard to it's hard to talk bad about any Tarantino movie other than Hateful Eight. I just that one disappointed me in every way. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Okay, this is another one I have not seen. It's called Valhalla Rising. I'm not big on like like Viking movies or or almost any period piece. It has to be something, you know, something extra to interest me. The reason I want to give this one a look is Mads Mikkelsen. I really dug him in the Hannibal series, so. And this might be one I could take over to Dad's and watch. He likes this kind of stuff, so. That way, at least, even if it's bad, me and him can make fun of how bad it is. Alright, here's another classic. Deer Hunter. Now this stars Christopher Walken and De Niro. And... A really young Meryl Streep. I forgot she was in this. Wow. This is just a cool uh, Vietnam movie, but it doesn't really... I mean, it. you know, there's Vietnam, but then they get captured and they're made to play um, Russian roulette and just get really damaged and, you know, PTSD and stuff. It just, it's just really, really well done. 
just a really really cool story really cool story and a great act and it might be my favorite even my favorite De Niro a lot of people love him in Godfather 2 I prefer Godfather 1 because again I don't like the going back to show how you know everything got started um, so yeah but I dig the deer hunter really good movie if you haven't seen it check it out all right what else we got here ah oh, another great one men of honor this was probably the pinnacle of Cuba Gooden Jr.'s uh, career, you know, after he uh, was in Jerry Maguire. I know he was nominated for an Oscar. I think he might have won it, not sure. But this is just about, like, a true story about, like, the first African-American uh, guy who wants to become a diver in the Navy. And, of course, all the... Um, all the roadblocks in the way to get there that he runs into just... Just great characters, great story. Ah, just wonderful movie. All right. Oh, there's something about Mary. Now, not a big Ben Stiller fan, never have been. Definitely not a big Matt Dillon fan, but I love Cameron Diaz. And the Fairley Brothers, um, usually with comedy, you know, nine times out of ten you can bank on it being good. This one was really funny. I liked it. Um, of course, the most notable scene is the one in the middle there, the hair gel scene. But, um, I don't know, just a really fun comedy, you know? One of the kind of comedy we don't get anymore. So, yeah. Alrighty. Um, this one, Lost in Translation, starring Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson. Giovanni Ribisi, love that guy. Um, this one was directed from Sofia Coppola, which is Francis Ford Coppola's daughter. Um, just a really cool, like low budget indie film that's just a good story, good characters. Basically, they're both in uh, Tokyo and they run into each other and just have an adventure. It's really cool, really good. Um, I think I'm going to cut the first video off here. Um, we got through, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 movies. So we're 16 movies in, and I can't even tell the difference in the bag, so there will be many more of these. But I'll be back tomorrow with another stack of movies from the sack. <laughs> Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.